Hello, welcome again to BAM TV and a new video. Today I want to show you how I quickly uh, recalibrated my 808. Uh, a few weeks ago we showed you a small video with uh, two Roland TR-808s and uh, Behringer's new RD-8. And there was a big difference in how the two old 808s uh, sounded at the time. That I, and uh, I told you that it was probably due to failing electronics. Well, it turns out I was wrong. Um, some people pointed out to me that uh, there are a few things in the 808 that can be uh, recalibrated. And uh, it seems that my 808 was in need of that. Um, so I looked up the service manual. Today I'm going to show you uh, three things. Uh, first, the noise generator. Uh, this is uh, active on the snare the clap and the toms and it was a little bit uh, too far off on my uh, 808 uh, make it sound really noisy uh, so we're gonna take a look at that so let's see if we can uh, make that a bit better um, then there's the hand clap offset uh, this is actually a knob on the bearing rd8 but um, on the 808 it is just a, a small trim pot meter inside we're gonna take a look at that and finally, uh, the cowbell was too high pitched on my 808, so I'm uh, going to take a look if we can adjust that to its uh, original value. Before uh, being able to adjust anything, you have to open the 808. Um, this is done by a bunch of screws on either side, on the top and on the front. And once you remove them, you can just quickly take the top part off and place it face down on the table. And if you want to adjust some of the sounds, I recommend that you just program a pattern in there that gives you all the sounds that you want to adjust and just have it being played here. Because once it's face down on the table, it's a little bit hard to operate. Also, take care not to uh, touch this part here, because this is the, this is the main uh, power supply, 220 volts in our country. So, um, don't, never touch that. Make sure you stay away from the power switch as well because that holds a high voltage too, obviously. Um, so what do we have here? Um, here's the MIDI interface that was built in later in this 808, so you'll probably not see this if you have an original. And here we uh, see the, the main board. And in the service manual, uh, you can find exactly where the spots are for the adjustments. So in this case, we're going to um, adjust the noise level, which is located here. And then we will check the offset of the clap, which is located here. And finally, we'll take a look at the tuning of the cowbell, which are two trim pots meters located over here. Now, you can actually uh, measure the voltage that's supposed to uh, have the, uh, the, the noise level uh, that gives you the noise level here. But um, in this case, um, you can hear pretty well where th that the noise is on the toms, uh, mostly. So I'll just uh, start here and adjust it so we can just hear what we are doing. Let's listen. So the toms are now nice and clean and don't have this noisy reverb tail anymore. Um, but as you can hear, the, the clap is still uh, a little bit loud and um, has a strange attack. So this is uh, the, the offset. And we're gonna adjust that now, which is this uh, meter here. Let's take a look. If we turn it too far, then it becomes less audible because uh, you you will miss the, the beginning transient uh, of the clap. So let's move it back a little bit. So that's much better. So finally, we're going to take a look at the cowbell. Um, 
as you can hear it sounds uh, off tune uh, as in as in that it's the frequency is too low and um, Roland says that it needs to be at 540 and 800 Hertz it's a, it's a it's a dual oscillator sound um, but I cannot measure that here but uh, the service manual also gives you the cycle of the of the two oscillators that you can see on the oscilloscope so um, we're going to take a look at that here um, first we have TP6 and the manual says that this needs to be at uh, 1.85 milliseconds per cycle so if we look at the scope um, it's 0.2 milliseconds per uh, definition so we're going to count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 um, 9.8 so that's uh, that's a little bit too long for the duty cycle. So I'll turn it back by adjusting the trimmer here, and it needs to be at 1.85 like this. So now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, that's correct. Now I'm gonna take a look at the other one, which needs to be at 1.25. Let's see here. That's Almost there, I think. That's one, two, three, four, five, six point two. Uh, that's just a little bit more. So here we go much better pitch for the cowbell. So this uh, concludes our little video about the adjustment of the 808. Um, I hope you, uh, you liked it and I hope you can do something yourself with it. If you have an 808 yourself and you want to do this, um, the service manual uh, can be found on the internet, but we have included the two sheets that uh, give you the location and the, the the adjustments for the trimmers uh, that we have uh, just done. Um, you can download them here under the video. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you like our channel, please subscribe. And uh, we hope to see you next time.